What's up and welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to talk about what is your best option? Either wet sanding and buffing or clear coating your headlights. So I'm gonna use one headlight to wet sand and buff out. Then I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. And then I'm gonna take this one, we're gonna sand it down and we're gonna clear coat it. So as you can see with these headlights, they are pretty rough. These are, if you guys don't know, these are new edge headlights and uh, I'm probably not going to reuse these. So you can see right here where the hood actually overlapped. You have to think about why that happens. Why is it when sunlight hits this, it turns it milky? And it's not so much because of the heat. A lot of times we think that's what it is. You know, the sunlight's just baked on this thing and, and this caused it to look rough like this. But in actuality, it's the UV rays. What we want to do is come in and put some type of protection back on these so that this doesn't happen again. I'm not gonna bore you guys to death because I know I hate watching tutorials where the guy talks and talks and talks. So we're gonna go ahead and get started but just know at some point we're gonna have to stop and talk a little bit more about this so we can understand what it is that we are doing. So there are two different procedures depending on whether you're gonna wet sand and buff one out or if you're gonna clear coat. So all we have here is just a soapy water solution. You just wanna use some warm water with a little bit of soap. This just helps the sandpaper glide across. Okay, so we're gonna start out with 600. And we're probably gonna start with 600 on both of them just because that's a good starting point because we have to get all of this oxidation off. And immediately you can see the oxidation really just rolling right off this thing. All right guys, so as you can see, there's still um, eh, a little bit of oxidation. It's actually not that bad. Once you buff it out, a lot of that's going to come out. but. Now what we need to do is come back and cross hatch this thing. Uh, even though we're clear coating, that's the way I want to handle this. You know, this is not auto body work, so you don't have to worry about being perfect. You know, you don't have to block this out like you would a car. And since we are clear coating this, you have to sand everything. So. You just want to come over here and just make sure that the clear coat adheres to everything and it doesn't want to peel off later so scotch bright would uh, work really good under here just to make sure everything uh, adheres you just want to rough the surface up underneath that way the clear coat doesn't start chipping away underneath everything but guys i don't have time to really get into all of that because these uh headlights will probably never be used again i just want to show you guys and uh you know spread a little bit of knowledge here and don't be afraid to press hard and sand out any imperfections that you see because since we are clear coating this anything that you see now you will see later okay everything looks pretty good uh, we will dry it off and see what we've got. I do want to touch on this line right here a little bit more and I want to feather it out a little bit. This line right here, guys. So to do that, you really just focus on this line and you just really work it back and forth and create a nice little transition. So we're doing something that most people would do in their garage, you know, where you just come out one day and you want to sand your stuff and you want to make it look better. Uh, this is a really good option. So I'm going to spray this with a gun, but with a 2K clear, but you could go and buy yourself a nice 2K clear in a can and be able to do the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and set this one to the side and we're going to jump over here on this next one. Same procedure to start with. What we're going to do is uh, wet everything down. And we're gonna start with our 600 grit sandpaper. That's fine. Like I said, we could have started with a lower grit sandpaper on the other since we're gonna clear coat it. But uh, we had 600, so that's just what we're gonna do. All right, same process. All this is going to be the same. So I'll probably just fast forward this and show you guys the finished product when we get to that point. All right, 1,000 grit sandpaper. 
it's cheap stuff from Harbor Freight and it actually works really good. Even compared to the 3M stuff, I was surprised. All right, 1,000 grit, here we go. So we've got it sanded with 1,000 grit now. And we are going to go up to 1,500 grit just to make sure we're good. Okay, so let's look at this finish. You can see a few imperfections in it, but overall it's looking pretty good. Uh, and this would buff out remotely decent. So you're still gonna see that little bit of transition line, especially whenever you do the buffing technique. So let's move up to some 1500 grit or 2000, just to make life easier on ourselves. We're just gonna go ahead and go straight to the 2000 for the sake of this video, and uh, it will work just fine actually. What the 2000 will do is allow your buffing process to go a lot quicker. So, same concept here. Um, you really wanna sand in your next grit at the opposite pattern. So basically what I'm trying to say is I could come in with 1500 or 1000 and sand this way. And then whenever I get my 2000, I can sand that way. Or the way I like to do it is just go ahead and sand both ways with all your sandpaper. In other words, I'm sanding this way with a 2000, and I'm also going to come in and sand that way with 2000. All right, guys, I think that's good enough for this video. So uh, what we're going to do is let this thing dry out, and we're going to see what it looks like. All right, we are going to go ahead and start the buffing process to see how this works. So uh, I'm going to be using the Milwaukee little mini buffer here. If you have any of these M12 Milwaukee tools, I've got something for you guys you might be interested in. As you all know, these batteries are extremely expensive. The uh, six amp hour version of this battery is like 70 or 80 bucks, I think. On eBay, and I hate to do this, but on eBay, you can actually get these things for like 25 bucks and they are really, really good. That is not a six hour, like six amp hour battery. This is, and there's actually a weight difference. So uh, if you guys are wondering, that's what they look like side by side they look like they pretty much come out of the same factory in a sense this one actually looks better this is the cheap one anyway i just thought you guys might be interested in knowing that that you can get these batteries really cheap and they fit really good but uh let's go ahead and get started okay in case any of you guys are wondering i use turbo cut with just a wool pad you can use whatever your favorite products are that's perfectly fine so uh this is probably going to be hard to show and hard to hold As you can see, it's already cleaning up pretty good. This takes some time though, guys. I'm probably just gonna do this half of it for right now, just to show you guys kind of real time. It's really hard to hold the buffer and hold the headlight, so I'm struggling here. Okay, let's go ahead and wipe this off and see what we've got. We know we're not done yet, but uh, that knocked a big, big dent in it. So depending on what you wanted to do, that would be perfectly fine for most people. But, uh, you know, I think it could be a little clear. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna come in with a, a black pad and the finishing compound, and we'll see if we can get this thing a little brighter. So I've decided just to use the white pad. We use a uh, finish cut to finish everything out. And we're just gonna kind of blow through this. We're not gonna take a lot of time on this. This is just to get any little swirls out and really kind of clear the finish up. As you guys can see, I really put too much compound on. You don't have to do that, but. All right, I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up and uh, let's see what we got here. Overall, that looks pretty good, you know, and that will be a get by. Um, this is not a professional job. I never claimed to be a professional at doing this, but uh, this is always just the way I do them, you know? This works pretty good for me. This one is sanded and ready for clear coat. So I'm gonna go over here now and mix up a little clear coat and we're gonna shoot this thing real quick like and we're gonna see which one did it better. Guys, we are gonna go ahead and spray this. Now I'm gonna use my gun. You could use a can of clear, like the 2K clear, single stage clear, whatever you wanna use. All right, I've got my respirator on, just in case you were wondering. Okay guys, there's our first coat and really that's all you need for the most part. Let's give that a little while to dry up and then we'll compare it to the other headlight. They both have their pros and cons, trust me on that. 
So for the most part, they look pretty similar. Which one has the best protection? Well, I think we all know it's that one. That one has more protection than this one. This one is nothing more than polished out plastic. This thing over here is gonna fade and start to turn yellow in a matter of weeks or months, more than likely. It has no protection on it. This one over here has clear coat. Think about it, guys. This is the exact same clear coat that you put on your car. You can wet sand it, you can buff it, you can wash it, you can wax it. You can treat these headlights once you've clear coated them, just like you treat the paint on your car. So that's what's important to me. Now it takes a little extra effort. And in the end, I mean, I guess you could argue it's not maybe worth it for some people as far as looks, but it's not about the looks, it's about the protection. On the other hand, this one is really, really simple and really easy to do. You don't have to have an air compressor. You don't have to have clear coat. You don't have to do any of that. You can pop this thing out, you can wet sand it, and you can buff it and you're done. Problem is, it's not going to last very long. This one over here is gonna last you a very, very, very long time. I'll probably take them out real quick for you guys and let you see what they look like. This is where you're going to start to see a little bit of a difference. Uh, this is probably going to be pretty hard to see on the GoPro, but the clear coated one is going to fill in more scratches and more imperfections. Over here, you know, this thing was just buffed out. I can see scratches in it from right here. Now, to be completely honest, I could care less about that. A couple scratches here or there, not a problem. You can definitely see a difference. You can see a little bit of the pitting and the coarseness of it. So, yeah, there's a there is a difference. There's no doubt that there's a difference. But it really just comes down to what you guys have the time for and which one is best for you. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. This one's been clear-coated. This one's been buffed. I hope this helps.